In June 1912, a magnificent new hotel opened in Ottawa. It was built by the president of the Grand Trunk Railway, a company subsidized by the government under Sir Wilfrid Laurier, who also secured the hotel site. Some say this was outright lobbying and pandering to the Prime Minister. You be the judge. Welcome to the Chateau Laurier, Mr. Laurier. Right this way through the lobbyist. Lobby, lobby. And of course we have you staying in the Laurier suite. Can I offer you a cigarette? A DeLaurier? Perhaps for you a drink I can Poirier? A Laurier? A Laurier? It's actually just a Tom Collins. Now, just because I lead the government which subsidized the railroad what built this hotel does not mean I expect preferential treatment. Oh, well in that case we have you in a room on the 12th floor. EA? Bon. Laurier, Laurier, come. Please, take Prime Minister Laurier's bags through the foyer to the elevatorier. See, I seem to have misplaced my wallet, but in lieu of a tip, I will give you this tiny blue portrait of myself with the number five on it. Thank you very much, sir.